Welcome to the Moon Manifesting Podcast. I'm Kyra Howarth, your host. Here on the show, we talk all about manifesting your dreams with the power of the moon so you can use the cosmic energy to transform your life. Did you realize that your business has its own energy, that your business has its own uh, like energetic blueprint? And did you know that you can use a special tool, so to speak, to tune into this energy so that you can run your business with more, more flow and ease? This is really exciting stuff. And when I first found out about this concept, my mind was absolutely blown and it has totally changed the way that I run my business. And of course, I'm talking all about finding your business natal chart or just creating an astrology chart for your business. So welcome to the Moon Manifesting Podcast. My name is Kyra and today I'm going to be guiding you through why you should have a natal chart for your business and how to create one and yeah, how to use this really valuable tool to improve the way that you run your business and to create more flow and ease and abundance and all of those good things in your business. So someone recently reached out to me and they said that their business was feeling quite stale and maybe you've felt this at times too in your own business like when maybe there's not many customers or clients coming in or your things just aren't selling very well or just things are feeling, you know, like they need a bit of a refresh or an update or something. Um, And so I invited this person to get a business astrology reading with me because this is exactly what I do. I look into the energy of your business and I hope you to understand what it is that needs to shift, like what's going on energetically right now with your business and the planetary placements as they are right now. Um, and like if things are really feeling stale or shift, like, you know, maybe we can even work on a rebrand. Um, so that's actually what we're doing uh, with this client. We are doing a full rebrand because she realized that at the time that she started her business, uh, it was quite some time ago. She was with an ex-partner and Uh, She just feels like the energy has shifted so much since then and she really wants to update her business to reflect this fresher energy and to bring in like all the other amazing new things that she's been working on over the years. Um, So yeah, this is just really exciting for this client. Um, And the thing is like this has happened to me too. So a few years back, a few of you may even remember if you've been around for a few years following me, uh, my business used to be called Herbal Moon Goddess. And I started like just this like spiritual business, Herbal Moon Goddess. um, And like I did my own business chart for Herbal Moon Goddess. And uh, yeah, that was like my business for quite some time until for me, again, I, I began to feel like this energy was quite stale and I no longer resonated with that name, Herbal Moon Goddess. I um, it, it kind of lost its meaning and it just, it felt really stale. And, um, like at this point, I think my Instagram account, uh, I started losing followers as well. And I couldn't really figure out why, what was going on. Like I hadn't really changed anything, but just the energy felt so stale. Um, and so I actually rebranded. I was like, you know what? I just don't resonate with this, uh, Herbal Moon Goddess brand anymore. I'm going to rebrand. Uh, so I just started, um, my own personal brand, Kyra Howarth, uh, rebranded like all my social media accounts. So it's just Kyra Howarth and, you know, not a herbal moon goddess. But the thing is, I forgot to create a new business chart for my rebrand. Um, I just kind of like dismissed my old business chart, uh, but I didn't think to make a new business chart for my new uh, rebrand. And so recently I've been working with my beautiful mentor, Catherine Hocking, who is a world-class business astrologer. And she actually prompted me like, Kyra, we, we need to get you a business chart. When did you do this rebrand? 
And I was like, oh, okay, I never really made a business chart for my rebrand. And I felt pretty embarrassed, to be honest, because like, you know, I, I'm also a business astrologer and like, I'm always encouraging others to create their own business chart. And I had completely neglected to do this for myself. So I looked back and I was like, okay, when was that first step that I uh, like took to create my rebrand, to bring my rebrand out into the world? And when I thought back on it, I thought, well, it was either when I sent out an email to my list to announce my rebrand or when I announced my rebrand on social media. So I looked back and I actually found uh, the time and date that I did a post on social media to announce my rebrand. And that was, um, yeah, how I then based my new business chart off. And when I looked at this new business chart, I was like, whoa, this makes a lot of sense. Um, I can't remember the exact details to share here on the podcast. Maybe that will be for a future episode, but yeah, I, it was, it just resonated with me so much. I'll have to pull it up again and, and, and do another whole episode on it because you guys will just, yeah, it'll blow you away. Anyways, so we're going to be covering today, um, yeah, why you need to bring up your own business chart, why you need to create one of these yourself, how to do it and, um, yeah, how, how to create your own business chart. So Buckle in, we're going to um, go right deep into this uh, for the next, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Um, so take notes, feel free to pause the video as you go along and complete the steps. Um, I mean, it's nothing too hard. You can even just, yeah, listen and just do it later when you have time. So, but firstly, why? Why should we even bother bringing up a business chart? Like, I remember a few years ago and I was really skeptical about astrology and tarot and everything. And I would have thought that this was a complete waste of time. Um, but the thing is when you can tune into the energy of your business, it can make such a difference. I've just got off a, a call with another client this morning, a reading, a business astrology reading. And she was thinking about making handmade products, like really unique products and I looked at her chart and I was like, you know, like I can see like why you'd want to do these things. Like you, you have these certain placements that would make this a really good thing for you. But what the energy of your business chart is telling me is that the one-on-one -on -one work with clients, so like consultations or readings or that sort of thing, that is actually what's going to be more in alignment with you. And that's going to be more easier. And then you can add on these products as like an additional service. Uh, so you could have this consultation and then you could prescribe these unique products. Like you could custom make these products for your clients. Uh, so just bringing them in with that one-on-one -on -one work and then the clients, uh, you know, have that option to have that, that additional service. Um, so something like this, like if you don't know the energy of your business, you can go through so much trial and error. Like, why are my products not selling or why am I not getting any clients or why is no one signing up to my group program? And it's not because there's anything wrong with you. It's not because like, you know, you're having a, a bad launch or anything like that. It can just simply be because the energetics of your business or even the like energy of you and what you're meant to be doing in this lifetime, it just isn't aligned with those particular avenues. So tapping into the energy of your business can not only tell you like about the work that is most aligned with you, like those different offerings or services that are most aligned with you. It can also tell you heaps about your branding. So how to Brand your business in a way that's going to speak the energy of your business uh, rather than like, I don't know, do you ever see businesses and the branding is just like so off? Like I remember like I've seen um, like even like a shop sort of uh, branding and it looked like, like from their branding, it looked like they were a day spa sort of thing, but like you walk in and they're a gift shop sort of thing. Um, like sometimes like the branding is just so off, but your natal chart can tell you exactly like these are the sorts of colors. These are the sort of imagery. This is the sort of vibe that your branding should have. Um, other things that you can find on your business chart are things like what areas are going to bring you in the most money, the most abundance, the most growth, what areas are going to be more challenging for your business. Uh, you can also go deep into who are the sorts of people that your business is meant to be working with. So your ideal clients, um, and that way you can really tailor your marketing towards these people because you can really use your business chart to dive deep into, okay, 
the sort of people that my business works with. It's like, you know, older people, mature age people, or, you know, they're people who, uh, you know, might be quite active. They might be on the go all the time. Or maybe it's the people who like to slow down and take their time. So you can like really kind of tune into the different energies of the people that you're meant to be working with and like use that in a way to really draw them into your work. Um, and yeah, there's so many things, so many things I could tell you about your business chart, but basically just believe me, you need to have a business chart. If you're running your own business, get yourself a business natal chart because, um, yeah, this is going to make such a difference. And the good news is that you can just bring up a business chart for free. Like I'm not, I am trying to sell you something here, but I'm not trying to sell you a business chart. <laughs> you can bring up your own business chart for free. Um, but I'll tell you exactly how to do that shortly. Because the second step that we need to cover before we even look into like, you know, how to create the chart is to figure out when your business was born. Um, and for those of you who are like listening on audio, like born, um, I'm using my little like bunny ears, like, you know, inverted commas, like born, because like, you know, you don't literally give birth to a business, but um, you do need to find the exact time that your product, uh, your business was launched out into the world. So this could look like so many different things and it will just depend on whatever the first action was that you took to bring your business from just like a concept, an idea in your head out into reality. So what was the first physical step that you took to bring your business into the world? So this could have been something like you purchased your domain name for your website, you started an Instagram account for your business, or uh, maybe you actually got your first paying client. If that was like the first thing that you did, like without any advertising or something, you got someone to book in, that could be the thing. Um, you could have got business cards printed off. That could have been the first thing that you did. You might have to do a bit of digging around, a bit of sleuthing, uh, sleuth work to figure this out, a bit of detective work. Um, a really fun way to do this, well, I, I think it's fun, is to just like go into your email inbox and just search. Uh, I use Gmail, uh, so there's a function there where I can just like, you know, literally search into the search bar. So you might just search for your business name, your domain name, your Instagram account name or something. Just finding that first, that very first step that you took towards bringing your business into reality. So you want to find the date that this happened, the time. And this is why emails are so handy because they have that exact time, like right down to the second or even the millisecond that that you know, thing happened, it's all recorded there in your emails. Um, and same with Instagram as well. Like it's, um, or Facebook, like it often has like, you know, that exact date and time. And then you'll also need the location and the location is just going to be wherever you were when you took that action step. So that's like quite likely, um, you know, at your home, um, or the town that you live in. But you know, if you were on holiday or something and you did this step, then it will be that location that you were in, uh, when you, took that step to create your business, to, to bring your business into the world. So once you have those three pieces of information, we have the date, time, and location of your business birth, inverted commas, um, then we can go forth and actually create your business chart. So uh, there's so many different uh, ways that you can create a free natal chart um, or business chart. Basically, you can just use a natal chart though for your business, like it's not gonna make a lot of difference. Um, so you can use any website that you already use to make charts. Chances are, if you're here, that you are already familiar with making natal charts. But if not, you can go to a website like astro.com and uh, bring up a free chart there. Or astro-charts.com is also quite simple to use as well. And so you'll just put in those details that we talked about, the date, time, and location of the birth of your business. And voila, you will have your very own business chart. And once you have your business chart, um, if you have any understanding of astrology, then you can start to fill into the energy of your business. Maybe looking at like where the sun sign is on your business chart, because that will be uh, like where your business naturally shines, looking at the house that the sun is in, as well as the zodiac sign. Um, you can look at the rising sign and first house, that's going to tell you about the branding of your business. Uh, you can look at the seventh house and that's going to tell you all about your ideal clients. There's so many other things that, that you can unpack in your business chart. I'm going to tell you a bit more about this in a minute. 
Uh, but basically, now you have the blueprint to read the energy of your business. Like once you have your business natal chart, this uh, really becomes a guide for your business activities. Like you can use this in so many ways, even using this like in a forecasting sort of way so that you can find out like, oh, the sun is going through this section of my business chart right now. So this is the area that my business should be focusing on. Or, you know, this is where Saturn is moving through my business chart right now. This is where my business is facing challenges right now. Um, so I actually go into all of this in a way more deeper level inside the Soul Aligned Business Mastermind, which starts on the 9th of April. And this is my signature six-month group coaching business uh, mastermind where we weave the energetics, like we look at like your business chart and a lot of other energetic stuff combined with practical business strategy so that you can grow and evolve your business to the next level. So whether you're just looking to refresh the energy of your business, if it's feeling quite stale, if you're ready for a rebrand or even just to completely evolve and transform your business or maybe starting something brand new if you are really ready to start your business and launch it out into the world, then this is the right place for you inside the Soul Aligned Business Mastermind. So whether you're starting or growing a business, uh, we go through this whole process where uh, you'll pretty much create like your own business Bible that's going to guide you through everything from marketing through to your weekly routines, through working with your ideal clients, through crafting your sacred sales funnels and writing the copy for your website and so much more. The Soul Line Business Mastermind is ideal for readers, for healers, for astrologers, for creatives, for artists, online retailers, product creators, or any other business where you're led by your heart and soul. And you do not have to have any understanding of astrology because I teach you everything right from the basics through to a more advanced level astrology so that you can use this in the back end of your business to create more flow and ease with your work. And we already have some beautiful healers and readers inside the group and energy workers. I'm so excited for the magic that is going to unfold in the 2024 round of the Soul Aligned Business Mastermind. So you can join now through the link in the bio, uh, through the link in the show notes below. Um, and that is kyrahoworth.com slash S-A-B-M. S for Sam, A for Anthony, B for Bob, and M for Mother, um, Soul Aligned Business Mastermind. I could have just said those words. But anyway, kyrahealth.com slash S-A-B-M. I would love to see you inside the business mastermind if, uh, yeah, you're ready to grow and evolve your business. I have all the steps that they're waiting to take you on this six-month journey. Uh, so what do you notice about your energy from reading your business uh, astrology chart. So maybe you've got a really basic understanding of astrology, but maybe like, you know, you can already see like maybe your son is in a certain zodiac sign on your business chart. So maybe you can already start to think about, okay, like my business is a Scorpio sun. So like who else do I know is a Scorpio? My business might be a bit like how this person is or um, you know, if you have a bit of a deeper understanding of astrology, maybe you can look into any concentrations of planets in any of the certain houses or go a bit deeper into the branding or anything else, um, depending on your level of reading astrology. Uh, but my best advice here when looking at your business astrology chart is to just feel into it. Feel into whatever your chart is trying to tell you and use this wisdom to guide your business path. I hope that this episode was helpful and uh, don't forget that if you do want to go deeper into this deep dive of exploring the energetics of your business, then make sure you check out the Soul Aligned Business Mastermind. The link is below in the show notes. Stay magical, stay manifesting and stay tuned. I'll see you soon with a new episode on the Moon Manifesting Podcast. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode of the Moon Manifesting Podcast. If you are curious about working with the moon, you can read my book, Moon Manifesting, or join us inside the Moon Manifesting Coven. You'll find the links in the show notes or go to kyrahoworth.com.